Random walk model without drift is a different stationary process. Now, what do you mean by this? Supposedly, I have a model yt equals to yt minus 1 plus epsilon t. So it is a random walk model without drift. So yt is the current value. yt minus 1 is the previous value. Epsilon t is a white noise term. It is a white noise term. So white noise term would mean that epsilon t is independently identically distributed with mean 0 and variance sigma square. Right? Okay. Now, uh, this also you know from the previous classes that, uh, that the mean of this is equal to the current value of y and the variance is t sigma square. This is what you know. Right? So, First of all, that this random walk without drift series is non-stationary. This series is non-stationary. Well, this is non-stationary because it doesn't have a constant variance. Its variance is growing over time. Although it has a constant mean, grows over time. Mean constant hai, lekin jo variance hai wo grow kar hai. Aur hum, we have already done this in the last classes. Jahan pe humne yehi show kar tha, that variance of yt is t sigma square. Thik hai? To jaise aise t badega, jaise aise time badega, vaise vaise variance badega. So as time is going to increase, variance is going to increase. <clears throat> now, let me just take the first difference. The first difference difference of yt is yt minus yt minus 1. Yeh hota beta? Delta yt. So you take up the difference of the current value minus 1 lag value of the current value. So yt minus yt minus 1, that is what delta yt is. So in case if you write it, your model as uh, this thing. So although this is delta yt and that is equal to epsilon t yt minus yt minus 1 is epsilon t so what do you have delta yt equals to epsilon t hmm. now this is stationary why is this is stationary uh, because uh, uh, the expectation of this term that is 0 uh, expectation of Delta yt, which is dependent upon epsilon t, that is 0. Variance of delta yt, which is equal to the variance of epsilon t, that is sigma square. Right? And there is no autocorrelation. Covariance of delta yt and delta yt minus k that is equal to 0 for k not equal to 0. So there is no autocorrelation also. So it has a constant variance, 0 mean and no autocorrelation. So it is a different stationary process. Hmm. So a process is different stationary. A process is different stationary. When do you call something as different stationary? Ke jab wo original form is stationary na ho. So this, this thing yt equals to yt minus 1 plus epsilon t. It was not uh, stationary in the original form. It is non-stationary in its original form. So this has become stationary after differencing it just one time. Huh? Therefore, guys, you understood this now. In original form, it was non-stationary. But in the difference form, when d is equal to 1, you've just taken one difference, it becomes stationary. So for random walk model without drift, d is equal to 1. 
so it's integrated of order one and that is written as i1 and differencing once gives delta yt क्योंकि डेल्टा वाई टी एप्सिलन टी पे डिपेंडेंट है और एप्सिलन टी का कांस्टेंट वेरिएंस है उसका जीरो मीन है नो ऑटो को है तो वो स्टेशनरी राइट सो आई होप इट वाज यूजफुल टू यू थैंक यू बेटा